It's new product time. New, 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 new. Yeah. All right. New, new. We don't. We don't have that many news, so I have to get very excited. No, it's fine. We we're doing good on time. So this week, what do we got? Okay. So start off. We have a new sensor. This is the VL. 6180X, sometimes talked, sometimes referred to as the VL6180. Um, the official name has an X on it, but whatever. It is like the sensor from last week, a time of flight distance sensor. Um, this one is a little bit different. It um, has a range of about uh, zero to 200 millimeters instead of 50 to 1.2 meters. So it's got a very s small range in comparison to the other one, but it does have a built-in LUX sensor and the code is a lot simpler and a lot easier to use. It doesn't have a full, like, complicated API. It's actually pretty simple to use. Um, you just tell it start a measurement, and then you read the measurement back in millimeters. So I've got this demo here. You want to go to the overhead? Yeah. I can, I can basically do the exact same thing, but live. Wow. Yeah, we also have a new overhead. This one is a, um, Wait, it's a, a 4K uh, overhead. Uh, yeah. from Elmo that just came out. And if you're into uh, desktop cameras for doing electronics, um, I don't so know. So it tops out at about like 170, 180 millimeters. Um, officially, it's like, you know, up to 100 millimeters. We can do about 200 millimeters. Yeah. And um, I have a delay. It's actually much more responsive than this. And what's really nice is it's, it's um, oh, it's detecting the thing. Um, it's very, um, it has a very precise measurement element here. So... If you yeah, and you can see it, you can see the laser flash. Yeah, the little laser flash. Yeah. So it's nice is that it's it's not like the um, IR sensors that have like a huge cone of light or sonars. These are very it's a very very precise point of light that gets um, emitted and then it measures the time of flight back. So this is this is kind of good for um, smaller you know closer distance. Yeah. measurements but we carry both because i think people want both this one's a little bit less expensive too um but check check them out i think i think if you're using something if you don't need the distance um this will do just fine and it's a lot faster and, and the code's a lot smaller so that's the new vl6180 distant sensor yeah i gotta say this is a really good overhead i believe i'm a connoisseur of overheads this is a great overhead yeah and what's nice is that the, there's a light but it's not so it's it's not too bright well i didn't even turn it on that's from another light. This oh, is, that's the, is yeah. that reflection? Yeah. Okay. So this is the additional light. So we're going to try this with your microscope stuff too, but look how... That is very nice. Yeah, and I'm not even as... Uh, let's, uh, let's get in. You want to zoom in? I think I can get about this close before it starts not working out. Turn off the light. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. What's nice is the OLED looks so crisp. It's like fake. Yeah. It's so it looks like it's drawn on. Yeah. Okay, well... But yeah. We found uh, overhead. This is the Elmo 4K high definition. Yeah. Elmo. All right. This is really nice because I can I can now do projects with with like oh I, like I used to have to like wire up a full demo every time and I'm gonna be able to do more interactive demos because I'll just use an I, I have to, now I can just use a feather with an OLED feather wing, so whatever we're displaying I'll, I'll try to have a um, a demo that goes with each one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the new product there. Yeah. And then and then this week the star of the show besides you is the map of learning. Let's travel on the Adafruit learning map. We'll go to Blinky LED Boulevard. <laughs> we'll go to Switch and Button Street. Analog Input Alley, stay away from that. Capacitor Concourse, Piezo Buzzer Parkway, Function Fast Lane. This is all part of Metro. And these are all the different banners and more that we made. Um, all aboard Learn Train. Learn, learn. And uh, uh, so we had a Metro Monday. We have so a Metro Monday, and uh, we launched our pack. But I just wanted to show um, some of the, the videos that you'll see on the site and more with Metro.
And what's cool about the Metro and all the things that we put together is, um, you know, we're in New York, so we use the subway all the time. And uh, it's very, you know, New York-like. And um, you know, we've had all sorts of spinny videos and stuff like that. And these are the sounds from the Spring Street Station. It's not too far from here. Um, some close-ups of the board. And, you know, we kind of want to look crazy in New York. It's like a little gritty. Like the hacker Arduino. So, um, the Metro goes on the rides. That's a great one. So, Metro going to move stuff. And, uh, that all leads up to the new product of the week, which we're very proud of, is the Metro Starter Pack. Yep. We wanted to offer people a um, starter kit that uses the Metro. It's, it's a popular Arduino starter kit, but now in uh, Metro, Metroified. Um, <coughs> all of our example code still works with it. It's, it's completely compatible. Um, but, you know, some people like having the LEDs on the edge and it comes with an on-off switch and it's a micro USB, um, not a DC, uh, sorry, micro USB, not a printer B type um, connector for USB and it's flat on the bottom. So um, we're going to be also doing some more stuff with Metro. So tune in. The family will grow much like the Feather family has grown. Yep. And uh, with that, Lady Ada, with new products. New, 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 new.